Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a bit of an interesting video for you. Something I've been talking about doing for nearly two years now. A year and a half basically. When we moved into this house, the room that's kind of over here behind me, that's where I've been filming all of my videos. It's getting very cramped, it's getting very cluttered. Not a terribly big room. Realistically the room that I'm in here would make a great room except there are so many entrances and exits and the stairwell and everything. I'm sorry, I'm wiggling the camera around a lot. Not really a great fit for a filming room. This has become more of our living room room and a bit of a mess as you can see. So the room that I'm going to be moving into is this room behind me at the bottom of the stairs. You know I can turn here these stairs to go upstairs but this is my basement office and I wanted to show it to you in its current state. You can probably already hear the echo. So here is the room. This is the room I'm going to be moving all of my stuff into very very soon. I did show it briefly in a video on my second channel, my family vlogging channel, but the problem as you can probably tell very, very echoey room right now. It is lots and lots of concrete. My wife and I actually just painted the room last night, so it looks a lot better than it was. I do still have some drywall work to do. This whole section here needs a little touch up. There's some exposed nails up here that need to be drywalled over. But the reason that I wanted to turn the camera on today is this room, this floor, is not going to be as echoey as it is right now hopefully in another couple of hours. Have some installers coming, we're going to be putting carpet down in here, we're going to be putting carpet down in the closet over here, and the closet on, sorry, the other side of the room here. Speaking of which, if I go into this closet, luckily I have a bit of a wide angle lens on here. This is a really weirdly shaped closet, but I'm planning to kind of use this as a secondary like product filming space. Might even have to come back and repaint the walls in here because we didn't paint the closets just because it's not something that you do normally. But a decent amount of space in there. Then on the other side of the room, this is the closet I've got some high hopes for. As you can probably see here, I've added some pegboard to the walls. So on the left and the right hand side, we've got decent sized, I think it's four by four pegboards. So lots of space to add lots of pegs. You can probably see I've put a few pairs of headphones up there. I do have everything cleaned out for the moment because we're getting the carpet installed. Carpet's gonna go all the way back to the wall there and the other closet and actually I think that's the only updates I can really do for the moment you can probably see behind me I have a lot of space that I'm gonna be able to move into when it's all said and done when all the carpets in I will probably have a couch over here a desk over in that corner and all of the filming stuff cameras lights possibly a second desk over in that area that's where I'm gonna be filming from and just out of sheer morbid curiosity I wanted to see what this would kind of look like and sound like I'm using a 10 to 18 millimeter lens right now, which is not normally the, the focal length I would use. Normally, I'd be more about right here. This is a 16 millimeter on the 10 to 18. And just kind of looking at the background, looking around a little bit, you can see I can kind of shift it. I do have a pole right here that I still have to figure out what to do with. I don't know if I'm going to paint it or if I'm going to put some sort of a, a clad or a wrap around it. This is really echoey. I probably shouldn't be talking in here. But the reason that I am talking right here right now is I wanted to kind of get a sense for what this room is like with no carpet in it, just the bare walls, <laughs> the bare, all the echo. I mean, you can hear echo. That's a lot of echo. So we're gonna see what a difference just adding some carpet with some high-end padding, some sound dampening padding can make. I went to the hardware store here and I placed an order for some carpet, relatively inexpensive. It's like a dollar something per square foot. So it's like commercial grade in stock carpet. But then I added on the most expensive pad, which was about the same price as the carpet, like a dollar 15 a square foot. That is memory foam, that is four star rated sound dampening and long lived and the best option that I hopefully could have put in here. So we're gonna see how big of a difference that makes just based on what you're hearing right now. I don't know what I can show whenever they start installing the carpet, but if I can video any of it, I will. Otherwise, I'll be back with you when I have carpet in this room. I don't think I'm gonna be moving anything in here today. Maybe that'll be a separate video, but I am definitely really looking forward to being able to use this room. I'm ready to start having this as my, all of this as my office, instead of being cramped into a little corner and hoping everything fits. I'll be back once the carpet's in. Here we are after two hours. And now, a whopping six or so hours later, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon now. We are back and the carpet is installed. I am not sure if this is the color that I really picked, but it'll get the job done. The one that I selected in the store was looked more gray, but on camera and in person, in this room, it looks almost brown, but I think it's, it's gonna be just fine. Goes into the closets here. Definitely should help deaden some of the echo in this room. Then as we go to the other side, you can see this whole room, this, all these weird angles, 
has carpet now, so that's a big plus. One thing I did not think about is that the doors are now very difficult to shut. So I think the next time my dad comes to visit, we're gonna have to take at least these two and this door off the hinges and shave them. So that's definitely gonna be lots and lots of fun. And just for the sake of comparison, standing where I am, I can definitely hear there's still a lot of echo in this room, but just to try it out again, and I don't have the tripod at the moment, but echo. Yeah, there's still a lot of echo. Hopefully it deadened it a little bit, and because I have the footage from earlier, I can at least compare the two. For what this room is like with no carpet in it, and just for the sake of comparison, echo, echo. So at least in my opinion, this is step one complete on my way to having a new office. I am gonna have to touch up paint and baseboards in a couple of places because the installers were not exactly the most gentle. Not a massive deal. We actually just painted last night, so it's not gonna be a big deal to get some paint out and just touch up. Then once we paint all the trim and all the, the rest of the little touch up pieces we have to do, I can start moving things in and hopefully start using this office before the month is over. So let me know what you think about this new space. Maybe I'm thinking about it backwards. Maybe, who knows? Give me some thoughts and opinions. I'll give you a little look around again. So this is the main room. I was planning again to have a desk over there, a couch over here if it'll fit, and then have all of that section as the filming space. So I would either have the table against that far wall or against one of the other walls filming back in this direction. Still not 100% on that one, it's just that feels like the area where I should be filming my videos. And then I might use this first closet here on the right as the unboxing room. Because I have the carpet in here and I can come in and close the door behind me, you can hear there's not a whole lot of echo in this room. Not a big enough room for me to want to film in this room, but if there's a small thing that I want to make a video about, I can put a table right down here. I have a work table that I can use that has a light built into it and everything so that I can film and have a decent amount of space, but not a huge amount of echo. So that's definitely an option. But either way, let me know what you think about this new office space down in the comment section below. As I've said many times now, very excited to get moved in here. Very excited to finally be taking advantage of this extra space in my basement and not being cramped into something that's a little bigger than a closet anymore. So thank you guys as always for watching. Stay tuned. There'll probably be at least one more video in this little series whenever I move everything in, set everything up. We'll see you again next time.